What really happened to Lucinda Williams? Lucinda Williams was born on January 26, 1953, in Lake Charles, Louisiana, U.S. Lake Charles, Louisiana. The daughter of poet and literature professor Miller Williams and an amateur pianist, Lucille Fern Day. Her parents divorced in the mid-1960s. Williams' father gained custody of her and her younger brother, Robert Miller, and sister, Karen Elizabeth. Like her father, she has spina bifida. Her father worked as a visiting professor in Mexico and different parts of the United States, including Baton Rouge, New Orleans, Jackson, Mississippi, and Utah before settling at the University of Arkansas in Fayetteville. Williams never graduated from high school but was accepted into the University of Arkansas. Williams started writing when she was six years old. She showed an affinity for music at an early age and was playing guitar at 12. Williams' first live performance was in Mexico City at 17, as part of a duo with her friend, a banjo player named Clark Jones. During the 1980s, Williams was briefly married to Long Riders drummer Greg Soders. In September 2009 she married Tom Overby, an executive from Best Buy's music department, who was also her manager. The marriage ceremony was performed on stage at First Avenue by her father. By her early 20s, Williams was playing publicly in Austin and Houston, Texas, concentrating on a blend of folk, rock, and country. She moved to Jackson, Mississippi, in 1978 to record her first album, for Smithsonian Folkways Records. Titled Ramblin' on My Mind, it was a collection of country and blues covers. The album title was shortened to Ramblin' when it was reissued. She followed it up in 1980 with Happy Woman Blues, which consisted of her own material. Neither album received much attention. In the 1980s, Williams moved to Los Angeles, California, where, at times backed by a rock band and at others performing in acoustic settings, she developed a following and a critical reputation. While based in Los Angeles, she was briefly married to Long Riders drummer Greg Soders, whom she had met in a club. In 1988 Rough Trade Records released the self-titled Lucinda Williams, which was produced by Gerf Morlicks. The single changed the locks, about a broken relationship, received radio play around the country and gained fans among music insiders, including Tom Petty, who would later cover the song. Its follow-up, Sweet Old World, also produced by Morlix, is a melancholy album dealing with themes of suicide and death. Williams' biggest success during the early 1990s was as a songwriter. Mary Chapin Carpenter recorded a cover of Passionate Kisses in 1992, and the song became a smash country hit for which Williams received the Grammy Award for Best Country Song in 1994. Carpenter also received a Grammy for her performance of the song. She duetted with Steve Earle on the song You're Still Standin' There from his album I Feel Alright. In 1991, the song Lucinda Williams appeared on Vic Shisnut's album West of Rome. Williams also gained a reputation as a perfectionist and slow worker when it came to recording. Six years would pass before her next album release, though she appeared as a guest on other artists' albums and contributed to several tribute compilations during this period. The long-awaited release, 1998's Car Wheels on a Gravel Road, was Williams' breakthrough into the mainstream and received a Grammy Award for Best Contemporary Folk Album. Containing the single Still I Long For Your Kiss from the Robert Redford film The Horse Whisperer, the album received wide critical notice and soon went gold. The single Can't Let Go also enjoyed considerable crossover radio play. In 1999, she appeared on Return of the Grievous Angel, a tribute to Graham Parsons, duetting with David Crosby on the title track of the tribute album. Williams followed up the success of Car Wheels with Essence. This release features a less produced, more down-tuned approach both musically and lyrically, and moved Williams further from the country music establishment while winning fans in the alternative music world.
She won the 2001 Grammy Award for Best Female Rock Vocal Performance for the single Get Right With God, an atypically uptempo gospel rock tune from the otherwise rather low-key release. The title track includes a contribution on a Hammond organ by alternative country musician Ryan Adams. Her seventh album, World Without Tears, was released in 2003. A musically adventurous though lyrically downbeat album, this release found Williams experimenting with talking blues stylings and electric blues. Williams was a guest vocalist on the song Factory Girls from Irish punk folk band Flogging Molly's 2004 album, Within a Mile of Home, and appeared on Elvis Costello's The Delivery Man. She sings with folk legend Ramblin' Jack Elliott on the track Careless Darling from his 2006 release I Stand Alone. In 2006, Williams recorded a version of the John Hartford classic Gentle on My Mind, which played over the closing credits of the Will Ferrell film Talladega Nights, The Ballad of Ricky Bobby. In 2007, Williams released West, for which she wrote more than 27 songs. The album was released on February 13, 2007. It addresses her mother's death and a tumultuous relationship breakup. In the fall of 2007, Williams announced a series of shows in Los Angeles and New York. Playing five nights in each city, she performed her entire catalog on consecutive nights. These albums include the self-titled Lucinda Williams, Sweet Old World, Car Wheels on a Gravel Road, Essence, and World Without Tears. The next album from Williams wrapped recording in March 2008. Titled Little Honey. It was released on October 14 of that year. It includes 13 songs, among them, Real Love and Little Rock Star, the latter inspired by music celebrities in the press, like Pete Doherty and Amy Winehouse. Little Honey also includes a cover of ACDC's Long Way to the Top and Rarity, inspired by singer-songwriter Mia Doi Todd. In July 2008, though Little Honey had yet to be released, PasteMagazine.com listened to an advance copy and rated the duet between Williams and Elvis Costello on the song Jailhouse Tears as the number five all-time greatest country rock duets. Her 2008 concert appearance at The Catalyst, Santa Cruz, contained an announcement by the city's mayor that September 6, 2008, would henceforth be Lucinda Williams' day. Williams released a cover of Shel Silverstein's The Ballad of Lucy Jordan in June 2010 as part of the Twistable, Turnable Man tribute album. In September 2012, she was featured in a campaign called 30 Songs 30 Days to Support Half the Sky, turning oppression into opportunity for women worldwide, a multi-platform media project inspired by Nicholas Kristoff and Cheryl Wu Dunn's book. On September 30, 2014, Williams released her 11th studio album, Down Where the Spirit Meets the Bone, the first album on her Highway 20 Records label. In 2015, Williams provided backup vocals for the Don Henley song Train in the Distance on his album Cass County. On February 5, 2016, Williams released the album The Ghosts of Highway 20 and performed on The Late Show with Stephen Colbert on February 17, 2016. In May 2017, Williams was awarded an honorary doctorate of music from Berklee College of Music during the 2017 commencement concert. In June, Rolling Stone named Williams one of the 100 greatest country artists of all time. Later that year, she re-recorded and expanded her 1992 Sweet Old World album, this time titled This Sweet Old World. On June 29, 2018, Blue Note Records released Vanished Gardens by Charles Lloyd and the Marvels which features Lucinda on five tracks. Marvels members Bill Frizzell and Greg Lice have previously worked with Williams, including on Car Wheels on a Gravel Road. In 2019, Williams co-produced New York singer-songwriter Jesse Mallon's LP Sunset Kids and co-wrote three tracks on the album. She also performs on three tracks of Sunset Kids. This girl's talent deserves to be honored above all the great.